Hey there, I just thought I'd make a quick tutorial to explain to you how to use c -sharp extension methods in Unity. They're really nice and easy way to make your code a lot cleaner and save you a lot of time. Now, if you've already used floats and integers and wanted to convert them to strings, you're probably familiar with using the like float dot to string that is built into c -sharp. But what if you want to go one step further and you want to say like, yeah, I wanted to convert it a very specific way. So I chose that as an example to extension methods and hopefully that's gonna make sense to you. So I have a simple script here with float A and float B. The first line is using the standard like um, A to string and B to string. But in the second line, I'm using my custom method. So in this one here, I'm saying to string abbreviated and the second one to string encouraging and I'm passing in a maximum. That's really just a goofy, totally not useful way, but I just want to show you that you can use them in any way you want. So let's see when I increase B, it says 0 0.24 is better than nothing, don't give up. And I think when we reach half, it says, wow, more than halfway there. And once we go past the 10, it says, holy cow, you've reached your goal. And I can call that method anywhere in my script on any float. And I just say, no, to swing encouraging, and that's it. And the other one that's actually a bit more useful is to swing abbreviated. And that I use for really high numbers. So we we'll actually have to use the keyboard here. So we have two, three, and then once we reach a thousand, it's gonna uh, cut it, it's going to show two decimals and then a K. And once we reach million, it's going to show million and billion and trillion and so on. And then I have this custom, which you might be familiar with, like idle and clicker games. Some games just keep going with like queen de trillion, but a much more readable way is this AA method. And then you have AB and AC and so on. So let's get into the code and see how that works. Show you real quick, this is the script that's putting it into the UI. So it's A to string, where I said this is the standard, and then to string abbreviated. And of course, this is the interesting part. So let's take a look at that. When you want to write your own extensions, you make a static class. You don't inherit from one behavior, just remove it, just a plain old class. And every method has to be static. So static means it doesn't have to be attached to a game object. In fact, it can't be attached to a game object. It's it's static. It's kind of like floating around. So you just have to put this thing somewhere in your assets folder, and then you can use it from any other script. And here we have the public method to string abbreviated, which takes a float number. And this is what makes this so special. So let's just go through this real quick. Uh, public obviously has to be public. We want to access it from other classes. Static has to be static, the method as well as the class. String, this is the return type, can be anything you want. The name, of course, anything you want as well. And this, so it's kind of saying whatever the thing I'm calling this method on, I want that to be the parameter, right? So somewhere in my other scripts, I might have this, I have a float, and then I say, x to string encouraging and wait that's a bad example so um let's say x to string abbreviated because this example actually uses a second parameter but so if you only have one and you always have to use this and that defines on what thing you can call this extension method if i say this float number means i can call this on any float and the parameter is the thing that i'm calling it on so you don't have to pass that in on top so in here it just would be x x is the parameter and then i have the method with the same name also string and this one works on integers and i just wanted to to make sure i can call this on an integer or float so I just take that and pass it on to a second method, convert to string. This is just a way so those two can just pass it on here. And then this one returns whatever this method returns. Right, so the nice thing is I can call this on an integer because you can always pass in an integer for float because for every integer there is an equivalent float. And so I call this convert to string 
And first, I just uh, convert it to the normal string with zero decimals. And then I check if it's below 1000, I just return whatever it is. And here I just loop through with the power of 1000 and just trying to find the, the biggest number that I can divide it through. Uh, doesn't really matter the functionality here. That's just the example. And then I have this uh, abbreviation string, right? Uh, K, thousand, million, billion, trillion, quadrillion, and then A, 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 B, and so on. And then we return that. And the other one was this store string encouraging. This works on a float. So I say this float. Now I can call it on any float. And here I want a parameter. I want this float max because I want to return the string based on whatever I pass in SMX. And then I just, again, I just you know, kind of loop through it. I start at the highest. If it's bigger, I say reach your goal. Otherwise, if it's more than half, I say, wow, more than halfway there. And I can print the number two. And then I return this to string if it's nothing. So if it's zero, it just returns zero. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And the nice thing is I can put this into any project I want. I can just drop this file and now I can use in any other file the to string abbreviated, uh, to string encouraging. Again, that was just a goofy example. I want to show you, you can do this with anything. You can pass in floats, doubles, integers, strings themselves. You could say, uh, for some reason, sometimes you have a string, you want to know like which letter is used the most. So you could say this public static string and then, you know, you go through through a string and you just loop through and do all your logic here and return, ah, uh, you've used the letter B the most, whatever. Um, you can even call this on game objects. So lots of things you can do with it. Okay, this is it for this quick tutorial. If you have any questions, feedback, criticism, just let me know in the comments. Also, if you have ideas what I should do a tutorial on next, let me know. And of course, liking and subscribing would really help me out. Thank you and goodbye.